Hello, my name is Miguel Leiva and with the help of Pilar Cornejo we are going to explain this learning object called bar bodies observation at the laboratory. The object, is of the, the, the object is to know the principal characteristic of the bar bodies are to learn how to stain a sample of saliva to observe the bar bodies at the laboratory. We are going to see the principal characteristics and how to prepare the sample. In 1923, Theophilus Sickel a uh, cytological demonstrated the existence of the sex chromosome. It means, for example, in human beings we have two different chromosomes, chromosome X and chromosome Y, and the, these chromosomes determine the sex of the individual. XX will be a female and XY will be a male. Later, in, 29, in 1949, Murray Barr and Edward Bernard observed condensed bodies and stained them in female cat cells. We can see that in this picture, for example, we have a cell that is stained, we see, can see the nucleus, and inside of the nucleus we see an stained uh, body that well, they call bar bodies. Later, in 1961, Mary Leon proposed that that bar body was an inactivated X chromosome. This inactivation takes place around the 16th day after fertilization, and the chromosome that is inactivated remains the same in the somatic cell descendant of the original cell. We can see this in this picture. We have a zygote with two X chromosomes. One is in orange color and the other one is black, in black color. And in the embryo, we have a lot of cells, right? And some of the cells inactivated one of these chromosomes, in this case, the orange chromosome. And in other cells, the chromosome that is inactivated is the black chromosome. The cells that divide from these cells will have all the same chromosome inactivated. While the other, the, for example, the cell, all of the cells we have inactivated the orange chromosome. It means that the, at the end, the body of a female is a mosaic, where in some parts of the body is inactivated one chromosome, and in some other parts of the body is inactivated the other chromosome. That can show some uh, interesting things, like for example, in this calico cats, in this case we have a female, two X chromosomes, and in this case the female is heterozygous for the color of the fur. The gene that controls that color is in this chromosome and we have two different alleles, black allele and a yellow-orange allele, right? So, in some part of the body, one X chromosome is inactivated. The other X chromosome is the one that is activated, so the allele that is in that chromosome is the one that is pressed. So, we have some part of the body that express the black allele, and some other part of the body express the yellow or orange allele. Uh, if we have a male, we'll have just one X chromosome, so all of the color of the food will be the same. If you have a female that is a mosaicus, all the color of the body will be the same. Only in some special cases, like the Klinefelter syndrome, for example, we can have the possibility of have male cats with two different colors of the body. Uh, later, we are, we, are having to, we are going to see how to prepare the samples for observation of the bar bodies at the laboratory. We need some equipment, we need uh, cells, in this case we are going to use less cells for the saliva. We need the uh, orsaying, we need covers, slides, a microscope, filter paper, forceps, and then a tongue depressor. We are going to follow the insects that we are going to explain later uh, with detail. The first step will be to put a drop of distilled water on a slide. Later we have to collect the samples. We can use a tongue depressor that is uh, quite uh, useful for this purpose. We can take those samples for the tongue or for the inner part of the cheek. We take the samples with care, and then we put those samples on the slide, on the drop of water that we previously put on the, on the slide. Later, we had to stain those samples. The best uh, thing to do it is to use orsaying, and we had to mix the sample and ensure that the sample doesn't dry. We have to check it periodically. We have to stain the sample during around uh, 20 minutes. After that happens, we have to place the cover and dry the preparation. And then, in that case, we can examine the preparation sample under the optical microscope. Here we have uh, some cells that have been stained, and uh, if we look uh, with care, uh, we have some cells, we can see the nucleus, and inside of the nucleus, in some of the cells, we can see the bar bodies. In this case, we are talking about a female. If we don't observe the, the bar bodies, in this case, we are talking about a male. So, as a summary, we can see that the female cells have two each chromosomes. One of them is stained in forming a bar body, and the inactivation is random, forming a mosaic in the body of the female. And it's possible to observe those, bar, those bodies from saliva samples at the laboratory, as, as we have seen. Here we have some references that you can use uh, to get more information about this learning object. And with that, uh, we finish this learning object. Thank you very much for your attention.